There's new king of YouTube drama who's holding YouTubers and influencers accountable for their bad actions by the name of Coffeezilla. Never heard of him? Well, over these Christmas holidays, it's probably the name Logan Paul and his team have heard the most. And Coffeezilla is slugging a whole lot of coal in their direction. Look, I'm not the bad guy here. Yeah, yeah. There's some actual out there. Yeah. And I'm, it's not me. Like, I'm here to build. Now, Coffeezilla, he does deep dives into crypto and NFT projects, exposing the bad actors, the missing profits, the ripped off investors. Sometimes he even jumps on the phone or Zoom to really dig into the nitty gritty of all the ins and outs of the millions of dollars, which are more often than not, well, robbed from the poor and taken by the rich. Well, Coffeezilla has gone viral time and time again, so much so that Logan Paul has been forced to respond. To find out what he had to say and more on Coffeezilla, well, you're going to have to stay tuned to this episode of Famous News. Seriously, though, this is like one of the biggest scandals of the year, and this guy's YouTube channel has taken off. More after the break. This is my... Oh, no! You still didn't like me. You shot me. Yes, send the location. I'm number one. My calling is to be the leader of the free world. Now, if you haven't been paying attention to the core YouTube community and what makes it to the trending page, over the last couple of weeks, it's been dominated by a man named Coffeezilla. He's an internet detective who's figured out the ins and outs of the blockchain. And uh, while well, his latest three-part series on YouTube, it's made him one of the most impactful creators of 2022. Then we'll go to blockchain evidence and show who sold what. And finally, we'll confront some of the people responsible. He's gained over 650,000 subscribers, and that's before December. I wouldn't be surprised if the guy gains a whopping 1 million before the end of the year. He also shot up to 20 million monthly views for the month of November, a number he will likely double in December. In fact, I was looking at a social blade. He's at something like 57 million for, for like the last 30 days, which is a lot of views. In comparison, Logan Paul's podcast, Impulsive, it pulls in only about 10 million views a month. And those guys got like every star in Hollywood sitting down with them. Kind of embarrassing, to be honest. And when the guy calling you out is beating you by five times the views, you know he's on to something. The long story short, well, Coffeezilla, he took a look back at one of Logan Paul's NFT projects, CryptoZoo, and he found that millions were made, but the project more or less collapsed. And, uh, well, investors, they were left for nothing to show for it. I mean, the eggs they bought didn't even hatch. How much did you guys make from CryptoZoo? I lost around $50,000 in CryptoZoo. I lost $40,000. I lost around 15,000 US dollars. I lost 25,000 dollars. Now, since this three-part series has gone viral time and time again, well, Logan has now made a comment on Twitter addressing the allegations. He wrote, Well, I generally appreciate Steven's creative genius and exceptional work ethic. I mean that. Now, we know this is Logan because the only compliment he's ever given me was, uh, Bro, I know how hard you work. That's my boy, Michael. Oh, God. Mm. Because, you know, being a reporter is a lot harder than being rich and famous. I actually have to go to work. Back to the tweet. This one is simply not true. When appropriate, all bad actors will be exposed, explained, and held fully accountable. I'll speak further on Impulsive January 3rd. Now, Coffeezilla decided to reply to this where he stated, It's pretty wild to refuse to talk to me for months, refuse to address investors for a year and a half. And then when caught, Logan says he's going to expose bad actors? Question mark. Now, Coffeezilla also shared proof that he had reached out to Logan multiple times, and that's ahead of his video publication. He concluded, Just sad to see see Logan once again focus solely on his own reputation instead of the victims who are out millions of dollars because of him. It is true at the end of the day. A lot of people uh, coughed up some serious coin and uh, where is it? Plus, you know, LP's living the life. So someone's paying for that. And it certainly isn't YouTube these days because my God, even the impulsive podcast can't get views. Anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap up this video here. I think uh, one person got off easy in all this and that's Logan Paul. Uh, co-host you know he probably got the uh, the word from the street yo all my bros are making huge on web 3 we gotta get in on this and then uh, yeah he just kind of walked away from this un unfazed <laughs> anyway that's it I'm gonna wrap up this video here see you guys in the next one boom